What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. The book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video is entitled Nature or Technology. You know, and why I say that is because, or versus technology, is because. With the advancements in technology over the last 50 years, people are really believing that new technology in some ways beats nature. And to me, they are two completely separate things, but nature always wins. Nature was here before technology. Nature's gonna be here after technology. You know, like, you know, when they used to, even just hypothetically speaking, when they would talk about quote unquote alien conspiracies, they would say aliens came and left. Guess what? They left. They had technology, they left. They came back. They left. They came back, right? Well, what stayed was nature. And, it, you know, in this manufactured society, right? You know, even when you take religion in the, in the aspects and God and, and how man was created and put it together, you know, that we're the only living things in this universe, you know, in life and how we think of death and we think of death, but we still say we all have a soul and, you know, so is it really death? Um, or reincarnation, and I've talked about this before. How this, how everything on this earth recycles itself. Technology doesn't recycle itself. So how would you think that technology can beat nature? You can't drop a a, a cell phone into the ground, and you know, twenty cell phones pop up. It's not gonna. I can't just drop my 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 Android in in some dirt and have an Android tree. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna happen. Just water it, and you're gonna have Galaxy phones forever. Like no, it doesn't work like that. You know. And the reason I talk about this is because same thing with cryptocurrency. I ain't you know no disrespect. You know, it's it's not real. You know. Money isn't real, like our currency dollars is just paper. But when we talk about where it came from, and currency came from trade and bartering, which were real things, things we got from nature, gold, silver, salt, uh, uh, um, steel, you know, corn, wheat, rice, you know, these are tangible things that have been here Eons before we were even born, okay? People was eating rice before I before I have before I before I was alive, I would say in this lifetime. You feel me? And they're gonna be eating rice after I'm gone. You feel me? <laughs> so things that wine, stuff like that, it it lasts, it, it recreates itself. You know, the, it it expands like everything that the world has given us through nature is for our sustenance and survival and that's the one thing about technology that bothers me technology makes us lazy so it also helps us destroy the planet because you know let people talk about it technology is part of the reason why people are overfishing in the oceans and we're overeating in america and you know oh uh, people we were destroying this Destroying the ozone layer with with our advancements in technology, right? And I can see people trying to get back to it because that's why you see this 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 um, slow expansion to back to actual nature. We, we talk about electric cars and 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 reusable energies, and even when they talked about um, wind, you know those big wind fans. 
you know, the, 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 the positive of those big turbines is it creates, the wind creates energy. The negatives, it kills a shitload of birds. Because the birds flying and turbine, you know, people don't talk, people don't think about that part. But you're not out there, so you don't know, you know. Um, but for some odd reason, we seem to think that there's an app that's going to trump technology, not app that's going to trump nature, and it's not going to happen. You know, when we talk about food, there's a reason why life and everything in life has seasons, just like food has seasons, you know. There's a reason why we're un, you know, we're unhealthy to a degree is because not just that we, all these same foods are ge genetically modified and engineered for us to eat year round when foods really don't grow like that. It's also the fact that we don't know what foods grow because we've gotten so far away from nature. We don't know when potatoes are in season or when apples and plums are in season or when watermelons and the only thing we know about pumpkins is it's gotta be October cause that's around the time we bring pumpkins out for um, Halloween and Thanksgiving, right? And maybe a little Christmas. So you know it's, it's in the winter time. Your pumpkin spice, right? But because we're eating things year round and people are saying things are organic. How organic is something that you see all year round? That doesn't go dormant. Like, how many foods do you think actually produce all year round? Because I see oranges all the damn time. I got an orange tree in my backyard, and they don't produce oranges year round. Just telling you. Got a plum tree. They don't produce plums year round. You know, it's, you know, you know dies down, yo. You know, herbs, that's different. Cause I got mint and and I got some green onions and stuff like that. You that can actually regrow, regrow, regrow. Strawberries, they they, they they grow fast, but they grow in a season, right? And when we come to technology, technology doesn't work like that. It might get us from point A to point B faster, but and that's what it's used for. You know, that's what you to to make life the the things that took time in life faster but some things in life you don't want to rush the process you know like nature wins because it's like this technology to me versus nature is kind of like sex because technology is a quickie you know it's in, you're in there, you're out of there, ooh, feel so satisfied. Did it just like that. But you're not going to ever be satisfied because you really want to go through a, having a life full of quickies. You don't really want to take your time and get it right. Nature took its time to get it right. That's why shit is flowing in the way it's flowing because of the ecosystem. Everything works cohesively together and it works in a season and it has its time and, it, it, and everything grows. To, 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 and, and it percolates a little bit and then it's right and then it's there for you and then we're going to start from scratch let's do this all over again so you go from this place to this place to this place to this place and, it, and nature lets you look at life in so many different ways because you got to go you, you got to go over here to experience this. You got to go over there to experience that. You got to go up there to experience that. You got to go down here to experience that. So then you get to know how the totality of the world works. And technology can put everything in your hand. And the problem with that is you get lazy and you don't experience. And there's a lot of people who have a lot of information but little experiences. And in the future, this is why I laugh at you know the idea of automation um, universal income and stuff like that because society had to get to a point where we thought technology was more important than nature to be foolish enough to let machines do things that people could do 
and force people out of actually experiencing other people and working on something. Because you're gonna have a bunch of people who who not gonna have any skills because technology dumbed them down. And then unfortunately people are gonna be so entitled because of that that they're not gonna learn a skill that might cause them to get their precious little hands dirty. They don't know how to interact with horses or cows, bulls. They don't know what it is, what it's like to 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 um, till the soil or or make a brick from scratch. Like what? <laughs> make tile from scratch, like. Even though the resources are all around us, you know, all you need is some dirt, some clay, you know, got them little heat. Bada boom, bada bing, right? We don't know how to um, make, god dog it. I, I said brick, but it's not the cement. It's the, it's the god dog. Come on, y'all. You know, I forgot the name of it. When you, when you lay brick, you got to smack on the, uh, whatchamacallit. You know what I'm talking about. Um, you don't know how to make that. You know, is a form of cement, you know, basically. Um, but we don't, we don't, because of these things, we're losing to technology because we actually have ex have accepted the ideology that technology beats nature. When nature has been around, like they're even trying to make, you know, wombs. As if like, like, we need plastic bags to create human beings when we can just do that on our own. That's what we're here to do anyways. You know, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done. This, 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 it cracks me up, man. Peace.